hello everyone welcome to clean coder youtube channel so today we are going to solve problem number 116 populating next right pointers in each node again this is a lead code medium problem and a very commonly asked uh, interview problem i would say uh, i would recommend uh, you to like uh, pay really good attention to this and do watch the complete video and you will never forget the approach uh, which you need to follow in these kinds of problems okay so let's start with the problem statement uh, you are given a perfect binary tree so perfect binary tree he has defined what is that where all leaves are on the same level and every parent has two children okay the binary tree has the following uh, definition okay this class node would be there for java so uh, there would be a value integer type and uh, along with the left and right reference he he has also given us a next reference and what he expects from us is populate each next pointer to point to its next right node okay if there is no next next right node then uh, the next pointer should be set to null so this is the expectation from us and he has clearly mentioned that initially all next pointers are set to null so uh, let's see what follow up questions he has for us uh, you may only use constant extra space okay and recursive approach is fine uh, you may assume implicit stack space does not count as extra space for this problem okay follow up uh, we'll tackle later uh, first of all we'll try to uh, do with whatever approach comes in our mind uh, so the constraint given are the number of nodes in the given tree is less than 4096 and node dot value is between uh, minus 1000 to uh, plus 1000 okay so this is the uh, example this is the uh, binary tree perfect binary tree which he has given to us in which each node has two children and all the children are at same level okay so what he expects from us is one's next pointer should point to null two's next pointer should point to three three's next should point to null four's next should five point to five five's next six six next seven seven's next should point to null okay let's move to our whiteboard to discuss uh, some approaches which you can uh, try so like here he has given us a additional condition right he has given us a condition that the tree is tree is perfect binary tree right perfect binary tree now this is a special condition right tree of tree with these type of conditions are like special conditions so interviewer might uh, withdraw this condition uh, in interview so there are certain solution approaches which are very very special cases which work perfectly for i would say perfect binary tree but when you would uh, make this tree uh, like the case when this tree is not perfect in those cases uh, this solution fails like uh, this is not a perfect binary tree right this is not a perfect binary tree or uh, this is not a perfect binary tree so certain solutions would fail in this case or if i also erase this node so certain solutions uh, would fail in these cases so i would recommend you to uh learn these kind of solutions later on first you should be able to learn a solution which uh, you can apply to any binary tree like that is not a special case and uh, it it would always work so uh that kind of solution we are going to discuss uh, in this tutorial so let me just explain you uh, my approach so what we are going to do is so a very very basic intuition is that what is next pointer in each case so once next pointer is null but this is the end of the level right this is our first level this is our second level this is our third level so 
if if we talk about the first level so in level order traversal uh, you can notice that uh, after one the end of the level marker is there right so null is there for end of level marker so one is pointing to null so now let's come to second level okay so for second level uh, two would have three after it in the level order traversal right and three would have again a null marker marking the end of the level so uh, like if you have done the problem in which you are supposed to print the elements of uh, this binary tree uh, level wise separated by lines like different level should be in different lines so the output should be this like this so if you have done this problem this solution becomes very very trivial and actually it is just the slight modification of that solution only so in this session we are going to discuss this solution only so uh, let me go through the code which i have written uh, in the interest of time i have written the code well in advance don't worry i'll uh, like go through each and every step of the code so that uh, you have a good understanding of what uh, what what is happening in this code module okay so let's start so this is the connect function and root of binary is given to us and we are expected to correct the next pointer and return that binary only so uh, if this is the base condition if root is null return null okay so this is quite uh, like self-explanatory and the second uh, base condition i have also added like if the tree is there with the single node only then also we can directly return root so these are these two base conditions are quite intuitive uh, let's move to the main part in which we are doing level order traversal kind of thing so again uh, we are taking a queue Q is an interface in Java and if you want a concrete class uh, you need to use uh, linked list or some other concrete classes so we are using linked list so uh, I have added root to Q and then null marker null is basically indicating that the level has been completed okay so let's move inside the while loop now so what is happening in the while loop so while Q is not empty okay so I have pulled the top element of Q so pole is nothing but peak plus pop okay so I have popped the top element pulled the top element so in case when it's not null okay so this is my binary right one two three let's take this simple example okay this is my binary tree this is uh, the queue so initially i would have put one and null in the queue so the temp is one here so i'll just erase one okay i'll do this so my temp is pointing to one right now so if temp is not null yes temp is not null so temp dot next is q dot peak so now what is q dot peak q dot peak is nothing but null so i'll point once next to null okay so now uh, once left exist yes so i'll just put that in the q okay i'll add that to q once right exist yes i'll add that in q okay so this this would happen for uh, one okay now uh, next time what i'll do is i'll just pull the null value okay so when i pull the null value it will come in this else block so if q is empty q is not empty so what i'm adding is q dot add null so q dot add null signifies that uh, the end of the level for this level also okay so i'm inserting a null here okay so now let's come to two in the next iteration so q dot pole would pole two okay so it will come in the this if block so now temp dot next is q dot peak what is q dot peak this first element so tools next would point to three okay this would be like this 
and uh, left and right of two doesn't exist so it will just uh, iterate other lines as it is so now let's uh, move to the next iteration of while loop in the next step it will just uh, dq uh, 3 so q dot pole would dq 3 let me erase this okay so now q only has a uh, null it in it so what would happen is uh, we would uh, reach here so temp dot next would be q dot peak so q dot peak is clearly null so 3 is next would point to null now neither of these conditions would execute because 3 doesn't have left or right child so now we will be uh, at the next uh, iteration of while loop so in the next iteration of while loop we will we'll pull the uh, null element the only element present in the queue now at this moment queue is empty so now we will enter the else clause so when we'll enter the else clause uh, queue is empty it will break directly so it will come out of the while loop and it will return the root so this is the uh, tree with the next pointers populated and we'll return this tree uh, directly so let's uh, discuss the space and time complexity trade-off uh, for this problem so time complexity is clearly o of n because i am iterating each node of the binary tree exactly once and space complexity is o of w where w is the width of the binary tree okay so more balance the binary tree greater would be the space uh, at a time the number of nodes in the queue okay so space complexity is proportional to width in uh, bfs or level order traversal of binary tree so if you have watched till here i hope like uh, you have understood uh, this problem clearly uh, in and out so like there are some other approaches also which are certain special cases uh, so if you want me to make a separate video or uh, discussing those special cases also like uh, what would happen in case of perfect binary tree okay plus iterative solution uh, plus iterative solution okay what would happen in that case or perfect binary tree plus recursive solution so uh, there are certain optimizations which you can do in this case so if you if you want me to make a separate video on these also please uh, add your request in the comment section so if i find a sufficient uh, request then i'll definitely make a video on that topic so thanks a lot for watching this video and uh, please subscribe my channel and uh, please like this video thanks a lot